let's move on the next one um this particular news this was all over but i didn't talk about it it was a do makes a senior management uh, appointments as the chief executive departs now here it says ahmed jalfar a telecom industry veteran and the member of the do board is taking over as managing director the company said on a statement uh, to the dubai financial market and fahad al hasabi will take on the role of chief executive acting chief executive mr hasabi replaced johan or johan or whatever i don't know how you call it john johan or johan johan denny lind okay whose appointment was announced in september last year now i did get information almost a month ago month or month and a half on the on the fact that he's going to be terminated but i didn't speak about it because i didn't have any evidence uh, there was no news article there was nothing it's just word of mouth and given that there was a little bit of controversial news attached to him i didn't want to say it because it was a personal thing so i was not surprised when uh, they made it public but what are surprises how in the world do these people come to know this information even before it happens so that was surprising so anyway next one retire in dubai cost revealed by time out So you read this article what it says is the retire in dubai program has been hailed as an overnight success and in response applications have been simplified further now before you jump the gun and say ah see they are bullshitting it's all total fake it's an overnight success well you'll be surprised to know there are a lot of people who are actually opting for this okay uh let me read it first to qualify you must be 55 years old you can start the application without a medical insurance plan the medical test will be conducted after that you can choose whichever plan uh, suits you okay the total cost is 2214 wait before you jump the gun and say oh only 2000 dirhams i can get a retirement visa wait wait total cost is 2214 retirement visa costing 888 that's around 900 bucks medical exam 753 emirates id 572 so this is only the um you know processing cost uh, for the documentation however to qualify for this you need to own a property that is no less than 2 million dirhams you need to have a bank deposit of no less than 1 million dirhams you need to prove that your monthly income is no less than 20000 per month and uh, points 1 and 2 you need to have a property value you know market this thing combined 1 and 2 of total of 2 million dirhams okay now why am i saying that this most probably may be a success because a lot of people with black money uh, that they just want to keep uh, you know deposit somewhere and stay safe that is why if you even check the cryptocurrency queen who i think cheated the world of 2 billion dollars or something like that 12 billion okay she is allegedly in uae after undergoing extensive plastic surgery where you cannot recognize her anymore of course with 2 billion dirhams you can change a lot of things so anyway see the the fact of the matter is i what i look at it as is what you he wants to do is okay you're a bad guy you're a wanted criminal fine stay here as long as you keep a low profile as long as you don't do anything illegal in the country you just put the cash in so for us you are a nice guy and you know you are following the laws we don't have a problem with you and the proof of this the proof of this is the just check the gulf news uh, check the news how many underworld gangsters kingpins or uh um, you know wanted fbi or cia or whatever all these wanted criminals are being arrested in dubai you seriously think uae does not have the technology to scan a person when he comes at the airport that he's wanted they know who these guys are okay they have the top most uh, advanced ai or security or whatever you know now they are they have openly said it that they have relationship with israel they have the most advanced technology in the world to let you know who is what okay they to let you know that uh you are a criminal they know that but for them it's yeah you know, you're a criminal fine but you're not wanted by us you're not doing anything illegal in the country here fine you can come in but the minute us twist the arm and say no we want this guy then they'll say oh they conducted a operation and they caught him red handed no so if you are a criminal and you're looking at dubai as a place to stay they will allow you to stay only if only if you keep a low profile hush hush mind your own business don't flaunt on facebook don't flaunt on instagram like that idiot who was flaunting his wealth with his rolls royce and all that don't do all that keep a low profile do your own thing stay in a quiet house 
like oh, then nobody will bother like people have always asked me oh with your tattoos you know how did you get a bloody visa it's very simple when i got the visa i didn't post it on facebook i didn't advertise it on facebook i used to stay quiet and that is how i stayed even after getting the tattoo after that 10 years i stayed in ue with no problems you keep a low profile they don't have any issues they don't have any issues with you i know so almost said it so sensitive nose okay yeah whatever okay <laughs> okay so if you keep a low profile they'll not have a problem with you moving to the next bit of news what's this video this is on youtube uh, why dubai creek tower stopped a very interesting video um, watch it it has nearly i mean half a million views as last i saw it uh, very interesting uh, and um, it shows where it was supposed to be constructed but now it's totally stopped i mean if you look at the imagery and you look at the screenshots wow it looks amazing but let's be realistic uh, nobody is going to stay here they don't have that many people they don't have that many buyers so it was very evident that this was going to be a f- uh, not going to happen but then again whom do you tell when they believe in they can do anything okay next one this was a funny news college times a duo kidnap a man assault him after he is kept uh, captive for 6 hours in ue now why do i find this news funny is they these these two african uh, these i think it was africans they kidnapped this guy they kidnapped the guy they tied him up they took a video and then they they let him go they let him go because they sent this video back home no they first send it back home they said he better pay up the money or you know we'll harm him and then they leave him and let him go are you fucking stupid and then he goes he complains to the police and he shows this video that was sent to his family as threatening i don't know is this the record for the dumbest criminal for 2020 <laughs> fucking stupid man and a uh, very smart guy this guy's name is stefan ligar he he, he i think is a israel israeli or something a rap rapper or something like that he puts i'm in dubai and this has clocked in at almost a million views very smart very smart nicely done video nothing great about the song but he just would hey, i'm in dubai and hey, hey, hey. you just put some shit nowadays you can you can just shake your bum or you can do some fucking shit and it'll just go viral but then again he being the first guy i think it'll go it went viral after this i doubt anything will go viral <laughs> next bit of news that is middle east monitor it says human rights group uae hired 450 mercenaries to carry out assassinations in yemen <sighs> my opinion is what's the big deal about it everyone does this whether it's saudi whether it's us whether it's uk see this is war this is not a game of fucking chess this is not oh okay we we will fight follow this rules shake hand okay you follow the rule i follow the rule i'll take a gun i'll shoot first then you take a gun you shoot me okay tishao oh now your turn shoot tishao oh you missed it no it doesn't work out fucking that way man this is a fucking war i mean who the fuck cares how the fuck you fight the war whether you appoint mercenaries whether you appoint cyborgs whether you bring in a total uh, army of robots eh, who the fuck follows the rules during war I don't know what's the big deal about this and I don't know why they're making oh, oh UAE is a bad place. Sometimes I feel like listen, okay? You want to first point fingers. Let's look at who supplied the fucking weapons. The country that has the maximum number of weapons. Let's talk about them and then everything else. Okay. Next one. Now this surprisingly was sent to me by an Emirati. <laughs> this This is a video of our um, uh, foreign minister of UAE. he goes there and it shows him i actually watched the original video it was really funny i mean he really looked lost he looks like hmm oh okay hmm uh what do i sign uh <laughs> it looks so funny man poor fellow he'll be trolled for the rest of his life with this video but it did look funny because it it looked like he didn't know what the fuck is at least put on an act that you understand what is happening and call with authority don't call like so sheepishly like <laughs> just call with excuse me what what is this ask with fucking authority man what the fuck is this anyway uh, next one is uh, several arrested after a dubai night club video goes viral this was shared to me by someone in dubai dated 15 september now if it is true i really genuinely hope they find but if they find them only 10000 or 100000 i would say it is pointless because these people would have easily covered uh, more than 100000 
on a given day. So just charging them only 10,000, 100,000 doesn't make sense. And shame on these people. In fact, they should have just shut down the club for at least uh, six months. Then they would realize, you know, that they shouldn't do all this. Next one is Dubai recorded 27.8 billion in sales transaction in the first quarter of 2020. I don't know how far this is true, but there can be a possibility. Yes, because a lot of black money is flowing into UAE. Okay, next one. Uh, I found this ad. I don't know. I, I didn't find this ad so funny because it's kind of demeaning to the people who have lost their jobs. This is what it says. If you can land an Airbus A380, then you can sit holding a sign all day. Turkish barbers are now open. Salary, one pound per hour plus stool. We required a prolonged airline pilot to sit on the kitchen stool on a busy street for 12 hours a day holding a makeshift placard with a finger pointing at a nearby street. If you are a former long-haul pilot, used to sit down for hours and, and holding a joystick, this is a job for you. Perks include regular hours, no international travel, no uniform, listen to music all day, iPod and earphones not included, salary one pound per hour. Um, okay, uh, then... Uh, you know, go to this to apply. Please upload references and copy of your CA commercial pilot license. Now, yes, it's a little funny. Mm, yeah, it is. It is funny. But when I look at it from the point of view of uh, people who have lost their jobs, I don't think it would be so funny. In fact, I wonder how would he feel if after he lost his job and someone were to demean him. And the reason I don't find it funny is not that, uh, you know, humor is, we, we laugh by, uh, to tell you honestly, it's, it's creative, it's put creatively. But I know people and how it impacts them when they lose their jobs. I kind of know that. So for me, it's a little hard for me to laugh about this because when people lose their jobs, how it destroys them, I kind of have a feeling for it. So, and uh, do you find it funny? You can let me know if you find it funny. Okay. You know why I want this fucking job? You know why the fuck I want a job? Fucking because I'm the only fucking person who wants this fucking job. That's why I want this job. Stop getting the wrong advice. Ensure you get the right skills for the right job for jobs in the Middle East. Contact Loy Macedo. 